Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jagged Alliance 3. My name is Yvonne and today we're going to run through the Zolo mission where I'm going to beat the whole game on hardest difficulty with nothing but my AK. That or something along those lines is what Yvonne would think about the situation. Of course he's using a bit more than the AK but we are on our way to good old the Desert Scorpions, Chalet du Lapé. Uh, we got a modified Winchester with us. We're relatively low on explosive supplies, but that is what it is. We got a nice, fat, modified AK. We got a good modified Auto 5 shotgun, which is rapidly losing um, durability. And we got the MGL going for us. So lots of weapons that are working well. Today's episode will be Chalet du Lapé, as uh, Ivan is trying to have a bit of a nightly inspection of uh, the city. See enemy now. I sneak. Let's make sure that we are carefully, very carefully yes, um, picking up, uh, picking out these enemies one by one. Uh, three over there, that's a bit too much. Without perfect information, we don't know where all of the enemies are located, so we gotta be a bit careful here. Definitely packs of two here and there. A solo goon up there, which I think would be our starting position. Good, one down. Let's take high ground up here. Okay. Continuing to kind of scour the edges first. What we would want to do is uh, get the individual stragglers and then we're going to start taking the rest. Painless Dog Robert is the right person for us because he will be able to provide medical services much needed as even is still having aid wounds. Okay. Right, got a goon all the way out here. Might be able to snipe him without others uh, realizing it. Well, the answer is no. Okay, so much for the silent approach. Could have maybe sniped that one guy up here. That's a big maybe. Yeah, I can't really hit anyone here. Which weapons do you have? Lots of pistols, that's a farmer's. Raid leader, however, is healthy, so I don't want trouble. I 
Very good. That's preparation for next round. Yeah, not sure if we have been spotted out. We have relatively good uh, stealth mechanics. You have orders. Yeah, we have been spotted out. In which case, it's time to get up. Free move up. <laughs> Headshot. Headshot, baby. All right, line these suckers up. One. Two. Uh, let's get up to here. Three, almost dead. I move. Moves back. And instead of yeah, we're just hunkering down once and get the AK going. That's a good use of our action points. Nice little headshots. Followed up by a single shot and Ivan has liberate the sector successfully may I, may I add cool full diamond uh, let's just loot up what we need to loot up the armor is still not good enough to justify using it Can you provide medical aid? Very good. That's what we needed. Alright, goodbye. Thank you. Can't open that without a crowbar and we haven't been able to find one so far. That was helpful, that was armor penetrating rounds for our Winchester, right? Oh yeah, armor piercing, that will be going a long way, super good find. More Winchester rounds, great. Okay, nothing in particular that the villagers know that would be helpful. Bit of a voodoo dance here. I am busy. Don't you have eyes? The people are dying and no one knows why. Well, except for Roger Wilco. But he is dead now. He will never finish. Nice. Further grenade, that's helpful. Definitely need more explosives. That's my old friend, Roger Wilcox. Unfortunately for him, I'll never get to become a victim. Now, I don't want to start the Roger Wilcox um, uh, quest. Ok, 
Okay, nothing. The only thing that we need to be looting is here. Oh no, crowbar, okay. Well, too bad, but we got some really, really good loot out of it, so what I want to do is hospital treatment, 13,000, well, let's start with it. And Ivan will very soon ask for a new payment. Getting rid of all of the wounds. Might as well renew Ivan's contract. Uh, no, thank you. Ivan contract expires soon. Good. At the top. Alright, so good health. We have 116 hit points now. Fabulous dexterity and agility. I'm still lacking strength for the perks that I would want. But that is what it is. Um, and we need to reload the shotgun here. Okay. We're going to go over here, then alongside the coast. And basically always alongside the street. This here is only four hours. This here would be 12 hours. Each area offers us a little bit more loot and experience. Good, Schliemann, come on. I would absolutely love to get my hands on a couple more strength magazines. I move. But I think that would be very random. You remember Schliemann, right? And unfortunately I couldn't save scum uh, the magazines in Port Fl uh, Fleetown. Because that could have uh, actually been helpful. Okay, we don't have enough wisdom in order to open that. Could be some extra some extra income let's try this one dexterity maybe yep okay cash in good if my memory if my memory serves me well these were the two locations where there had been treasure so all that's left is to scour for a bit more medical supplies we are okay with 200, but it's not great. And given that the hospital treatment really was incredibly costly, I don't know if we can do that uh, more often. nothing else here so that is five hours yeah we're just following the way here here and then there time for the good old cursed forest 
spend a lot of time here with my blind, blind playthrough. As I've uh, been always ambushing the little diamond uh, shipments that were going to the major. As long as you didn't clear out, uh, you do not clear out the major, you can always interject a couple of uh, shipments. And I got like three ish per uh, cycle, so that was 36,000. Yeah, come on, rebuild it. Someone is just playing a sick joke, right? I mean, maybe it's gone already, eh? Do you think it's still around here? Locking in the shadows and waiting for us. That's the whole point, man. Get your murder together. It's just that these effigies give me the goosebumps. I ain't afraid of no beast. Alright, some experience. And are these guys maybe separating a little bit? That would be great. Agents of enemy. Good, we're hiding. Let's move out. And let's see what they are going to do. Beast definitely is helping us. I don't know if we would need to fight her. I don't think so. Taking cover. Try that. Conflict resolved, and we found we found ourselves uh, some nice little loot here. Uh, weaken the outpost so it'll make our invasion a bit easier still no crowbar so can't really get all of the loot I could get the plasma cutter but that would uh, yeah require us to make a detour To save those ridiculous merc commandos, right? Don't deny it. Everyone... Yeah, I think we've pretty much explored that region. Uh, which brings us to the next big thing uh, taking uh, the outpost here. Five hours. Seven to here. 16 to there. No, we're going straight through that. Let's go. Camp Chien Sauvage. Okay. 
I really don't like the fog because that will make my job much more difficult. There is always a chance that yes. we're not going to hit and kill an enemy. On the other hand, enemies can't look as far inside of the fog Agents of enemy. They as they normally could. Good, two down, twelve to go. Be careful. Tut mnogo vragov. Standard ammo. That crazy animal lover was trying to feed the hyena salad and soy milk. <laughs> hey, you're not with you a couple of things. Are you? Please help me. Put me in a cage like a like a non-human person. They mean to send me to their horrible fighting pit. They think they can make me hurt a non-human person, but that's just impossible. Reload, armor piercing, and headshot. Oh, come on. That's not helpful. Enemy spotted. Hiding, maybe. I think conquering down is the better chance here. Three times grazing, really? And he seems to be completely out. Oh, first time that it grazed. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Wonderful. 3% on our Kevlar armor. I move. Пошел. At least we did not have a wound thanks to our massive amount of hit points. Hmm, not a bad weapon. Lots of enemies. Okay, we want to still get some stragglers. At the moment that seems difficult. There's a sniper up there. We need new armor. Good, got both of the snipers. K 
Okay, Shane, we got armor, but the wrong type. I saw someone die, but I'm still in cover. Uh, more enemies than I would have expected. out an alarm all right Can we hide somewhere any cover? I mean, we could move up and go to town on him, but that's not the idea. Yeah, well, that's fine. Far enough away. Unfortunately, these guys do have, like, ultimate sprinting ability. Keep in mind, I already sprinted, like, very far, and they, he's just following me. Now my armor is officially gone. Not good. Reload and hunger down for next round. Kidding me? He's also he's also hitting my legs. Moves up. Hit. Time to switch. Free move to here to cover. And we're healing ourselves. Show them our strength. Inaccurate and suppressed. Great. Headshots. And healing. Couple of minor hits, nothing major. Unfortunately, we have no armor to protect us.
All right, cash that in. Oh, nice. Okay, we can do a couple of modifications. Let me finish the conflict and then we're definitely modding the weapons. Um, reload normal ammunition and we need shotgun ammo soon. But there is potentially not that much left over. Good, we're going to reload armor piercing once again. That was still a crocodile, if I remember correctly. There is definitely one over here. I'm pretty sure there are more enemies. Enemy force located locally. Let's get this guy down. All right. from here let's wait until he's on this side like fully on this side so that there's a vision barrier resolved are we sure about that all right unload and we definitely have a couple of uh, things to modify I'll do the modification real quick new scope would be helpful and we do have a barrel for an extension both of it uh, would go onto the Winchester making it an even better weapon unfortunately our armor is broken so we need to find a solution for that um, but let me first of all save scum uh, to get uh, the weapon going all right on to the final parts of this episode so I extend the range and put on a prism scope, which means we will have an easier time to zoom in. Now all there is left to do is get the loot in of this particular zone. Wow, that's a lot of loot. I like what I'm seeing. Agents of enemy. Okay, well, uh, that's not what I would have expected. Um, let us kill that last enemy. Door is 
слог. Ломать? Ten rounds. I cannot promise this shot. Nah, there's no point in doing that. I hide. I know farewell that there is a crocodile. I really don't want to fight them. So maybe the right thing to do is, since I've already BP's the sector. Ah, well, they might have loot, who knows. Yeah, I think we should get them for the loot alone. Sure, crocodiles can't climb. That's one. Two. And that's three. Отлично. Все умерли. Пошел. All right, no loot on the crocodile. And he did not have any loot either. Так точно. And of course, in typical fashion, there is no loot whatsoever anywhere. That's really lamentable. At least we got some experience. Let's see if there's f some final loot up here. Can't un uh, mm, disarm that trap. Nothing there. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure we've been through all of it. We got some really nice items, a lot of a lot of ammunition on top of it because problem though is we've lost our armor which means outside of fog we're going to take full damage and kevlar was good i like it since we can't repair it might as well ah who knows Okay, I think I'll call it here. We are in that sector and in just a brief uh, brief circle we can get to Il Murat. This is two hours and another two hours. So next episode we're trying to get uh, Il Murat and uh, then another mine technically we wouldn't need to fight them but i like the idea of just pushing ourselves forward there might also be loot involved and maybe we can finally get uh, the uh, stat upgrades that we need i would absolutely love to see some plus strength we only got one from studying um yeah not really a lot of field experience for us medical is good uh, not enough, I think, to run medical ops yet. No, uh, that indeed does not work. And we can't repair items either. That would be fantastic. So, yeah. I think we would need 30 mechanical. can see that we got a bit of studying and a bit from field experience, but 
until this run is over, Ivan will not be good enough to actually repair anything. But we've already killed 116, which isn't bad at all. Given that strength is not improving, I'm not sure if line breaker will be the right choice. Uh, next up will likely be rage because we're oftentimes playing with wounds and that's just a flat up damage, uh, flat out damage bonus. I like that. Uh, might be the right uh, play. So it's level eight, and then we do have two more left. Frog leaping could be one. Dead eye could be one. Uh, lightning reflexes could be one. Vanguard, to be honest, could be one as well. Yeah, it really depends. Anyways, that's it from me today. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you all in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.